Good morning. Does anybody know what kind of day this is? This is Mackenzie's first day where she doesn't have any school to do. She graduated yesterday. She finished her math. She aced her final exam. And she's finished. So now she's, I don't know. She's got to go job hunting or something. You don't want to keep me here? Well, I'll keep you here. But you got to work on the farm. No. That's the newest news in our house. Check on the ladies. Hey girls. Come on over. These are the ones I just moved out um, of the calf barn. Uh, last week, I believe we did that. So they're looking good. Time to clean the calf barn. It's messy in here. And since it's gonna get cold. Oh. This is going to get cold. Oh, you want to put that one on the other side? We're not going to clean this side. Because they're still dry. I'll just set a bale in here. cold weather coming up uh, I think it starts in a couple days actually not yet but we want to make sure that the calves are bedded real well and that their pens are are dry oh shoot that means they're all getting mixed out uh, 
So I have two different groups here. It's a little bit older, the weaned ones. And guess where the weaned ones are gonna go? You're gonna wanna go right in the feeder, I bet. Okay, big girl. Oh, oh. <laughs> a little deer. Okay, swing that one this way. And just still two of them, I think. Yeah. Three. Three? No. You're all trying to get out, aren't ya? The gate's not closing, you know it. Look how excited they are to drink water out of a tub. Yeah, you're excited, huh? Smile. What? No, don't do that. Don't do that. That's one more 4-H um, dairy steer that we're raising for a friend. And so he's just getting off to a good start and we want to raise him until he's um, past a real stressful age. So that way he can adjust to his new home a little bit better. Hi girl. Oh, she's a little bit on the wild side. Back away. Oh boy, Kenzie's getting, being mauled by a calf. <laughs> oh. I just love you. I just love you so much. No. You're my bestest friend. No. Can I just chew on something? <laughs> <laughs> I want to give you calf kisses. Yeah. Here comes the bell. We gotta cut the strings. And I won't let this. Did you feel that? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! got a little bit of hay in it, but they always chew on straw. <laughs> Good for ya, huh? Yeah. Alright. We gotta go bed the calf hutches. <laughs> Alright. We're all finished. Got these girls bedding. We're all good to go. I have nothing. Oh, oh dear. We have nothing for you yet. You guys can work at eating your grain. No milk time. 
I know, you're excited. Oh boy. Oh boy. I even gave some straw to the chickens here. They don't like being outside in the snow on their feet. So, they can scratch around in that. I guess I'm in charge of calf chores by myself tonight. Usually I have the boys help me and um, they can help me carry buckets and get grain and hay and bed and all that. And tonight I have to do it on my own because all three of the boys are gone. They all decided to um, go to church tonight, so that's what they're doing. Um, actually, the two older boys always go, but Sanders has decided he wanted to go tonight, so they brought him along, which is it's a good thing. And so it's Mackenzie and Kevin and I here tonight, and Mackenzie's going to probably scrape barns, unless Kevin does. But I'm going to work at calf chores, get that going, um, while it's still a little bit light out. So I'm going to have a little early start. So I'll bring you guys with me. Let's go outside. Time to do calf chores. Hey, are you guys hungry? Come on out. Since it's just me, i got to do all this on my own. So I'm going to grab all their buckets and clean them and get some fresh milk in them. So this is what I do. I just line them all up and I'll rinse them out and then I'll mix some new milk in them and then we'll haul them out. So now I have, I've got all the calf hutches, um, they're fed and they're all drinking. So now I have two babies that are brand new to the feeder and so I have to make sure that they're drinking. So I'm going to push them in the feeder and I'm going to have to find them. in the feeder one of them drank and one would not drink and when I find that happens um, when that happens what I tend to do is um, if they drink in the morning and they won't drink in the evening or vice versa then I just I just skip that feeding and I let them build up hunger for the next feeding 
Um, that way I'm not force feeding them, but I'm getting them used to recognizing when they're hungry and then they can go in the feeder on their own. So tomorrow morning, um, the one I will make note that she didn't drink and I will check her in the morning and make sure she does drink. Um, the other one drank great, so she's good to go. And um, yeah, everybody else drank, so it's actually been pretty easy tonight, the feedings. I didn't have to um, work with anybody to get them to feed because everybody's eating, which is always a huge blessing. All right, I guess I'm gonna call that a video. I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna go in, finish working on the dishes because I didn't do that before I headed out. And then, yeah, edit this video. So thank you all for watching. I hope you're all having a very blessed day and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.